everybody, I'm Nick, and I recently came across this post on the .NET subreddit where someone was told that .NET wouldn't be around in 10 years, and that has to do with choosing technology for their medium-sized e-commerce company and product. So in this video, I want to go through this post and then through these comments and give my feedback and what I think about all this and also take a look at what the comments have to say and what the general idea about this sort of misconception, in my opinion, is. So just we need to vent. I work on a small innovation team in a medium-sized e-commerce company. Uh, me and other developers inherited the Python Flask project, or sorry, POC, proof of concept, and we continue to build it uh, for a while now. And, and then they were told that they would eventually be allowed to rewrite parts of it in .NET, which is great. You know, nothing wrong with Python and Flask, but .NET is just the better product objectively. However, if you have an entire team of Python, I wouldn't necessarily recommend moving to another language just for the sake of the language, because you might just lose all this know-how and all this experience. The main language of the company is C Sharp. Point invalidated, because if it's C Sharp, why do you even have Flask and Python POCs? Like, Flask, I guess it's fine, but it's so 2010. So we finally started the process, and uh, during late fall, we decided to set up a fresh Aspire solution. Wow, that is mega bleeding edge because remember aspire is not on the same lts and sts cycle of dotnet so it actually gets out of support the moment a new minor version is released so careful with using aspire it is fine to use but to know what you're getting into things are changing all the time breaking chains and so on eventually it will be on that lts sts cycle i think but for now it is very Let's go in and break things and make the best product possible. At least that's Microsoft's perspective on it. And get back to what I consider personally a real enterprise language with enterprise tooling. Now, I don't like the word enterprise language and enterprise tooling because this sort of understanding or at least this sort of idea makes .NET less attractive to startups, which objectively it is. Less startups are choosing .NET because they have this idea that, yeah, is it cross-platform? Yes, I think most people now know it is closed platform and is it very performant? It is. But is it an enterprise language? I wouldn't say so. I think modern C Sharp, if you ditch some of the old features and you choose to write C Sharp in a modern way, it is a mature language and in some cases a bloated language, if you may. But if you choose to leave some of the features out, I think it's a very bleeding edge language in many ways. And the tooling, it's not great the tooling, I would say, and with Microsoft trying to get away from Visual Studio, which they do, they want everyone to be in Visual Studio code. Is it enterprise tooling? I don't know. I don't like this idea of the enterprise project. I think that .NET should be more of a fun and hip and just this not so fancy and enterprise. I, when I think of C Sharp, I want to think of the same way I think of like React developers or, or JavaScript, like cool developers, not necessarily that person with khakis in the office. You know what I mean. Now, today we had a meeting with some high-level non-technical people and challenged us, why are we rewriting stuff to C Sharp? They don't mind the rewriting, mind you, just that it's an ancient, obscure framework like .NET. What? Is it an old framework? Yes, I guess .NET framework itself is. .NET Core isn't. It's not even 10 years old. It will be this year, but it's not re oh, actually next year, but it's not really yet like old by any means. There's other technologies people are using that are way older or a few years older than .NET Core at this point. The language itself is pretty old and it, that, you know, it comes with baggage. It comes with features that have been there for a while and then we're just implementing on top of it. But that's such a terrible take. And if the company already has experience with C Sharp, why as a high level non-technical person, you come into this and say, don't write in C Sharp. We have all this know-how. Why would we even just move to something else? When someone says, let's rewrite something, give me the reason. And the reason shouldn't be this thing is old because C is old. C++ is old. Things are still written with these languages all the time. So uh, that point is invalid and these high non-technical people should stay in their non-technical fake roles and do nothing else. They talk about all the benefits instead of going full JavaScript stack with the synergy of sticking to a single language and worries that you don't be able to recruit developers for both short-term and long-term. 
this is sus. This to me screams run away. And despite me sharing my screen and showing the Stack Overflow survey that .NET is indeed very popular and non-controversial opinion, we agree to disagree and revisit the discussion soon. If you have revisited this, message me personally and maybe I can make a follow-up video on this to see how this all went through. There's nothing wrong with a full JavaScript stack, except for the fact that you have to write JavaScript, but the rest, like the tooling and the ecosystem and the community, like it's there if you can deal with a bad language. I remember Jonathan Blow, which in case you don't know, incredible engineer um, and game developer. And he made this point where if you want to go anywhere with your career, just ditch JavaScript and pick a more low level language. He would probably say that C Sharp is equally as terrible as JavaScript. But I would argue C Sharp will teach you way more about programming than JavaScript. The control you have and the things you can do with C Sharp they're going to make you a better developer and you'll be able to go to other languages easier as well. Now, if you were to use TypeScript, the discussion changes. TypeScript is a fine language, but I would still say that C Sharp can do everything this language can do, plus more. Now, can it do it equally as well? For example, full stack development with Blazor? No, I don't think so. But if you use MVC, Razor Pages, you can do wonders with C Sharp. So I thought I'd let you know that we're all doomed. No, we are. This is Sarkham's jokes aside in their defense. I understand the main team. Uh, with works and .NET has some problems with recruitment since um, they use some obscure older .NET technologies. And yeah, I mean, if you're using web forms or I don't know, some other obscure .NET like SOAP, I don't know what it is, then yeah, you're going to have trouble working with .NET developers because everyone nowadays is basically working with .NET Core or they're happy maintaining legacy and not moving on. They're just a step before retirement. So why would they care? Now, I think this is generally bullshit, and I don't think that that person should stay at this company if these high-level non-technical people are the ones who make the decision and not the engineers. These people can make product decision, tell you how they want the product, but telling you how they want the product made is bullshit. Let's take a look at the comments. So Ancient Obscure, what the hell? Uh, .NET 9 only released a couple of months ago. Uh, there's more to this than that. Yeah, and I mean... C++ is ancient obscure and you have like 20 whatever versions of C++ and they're still coming out. So would you say it's ancient obscure if it's still being updated? I don't know. I don't agree with this. Medium sized e-com pretty much explains everything. I agree with this. The company size sometimes plays a massive role in how technology is adopted. Probably have a tons of legacy applications written in framework. I can basically guarantee that. And that put a dent to the budget to maintain them and they can't really scale them anywhere. Yeah. It's true that if you had those framework applications, it's actually not that hard to migrate, but some people are too scared to migrate. There's even tooling to migrate nowadays, actually, which makes it pretty simple. Uh, but people just don't want to touch it because they're not really keen in updating it. And I have been in this situation. The first company I worked for, I actually work with web forms and I had to use framework 3.5 for some, some stuff and Visual Studio 2008. That was in 2015. It's crazy, crazy times. So, yeah, I totally agree with this point. And .NET and PHP will outlive any shiny fra JavaScript framework that is considered trendy today. Wow, Chief Aoki could speak many languages today, but he chose to speak the truth, or they. Wow, this is, yeah, that's basically facts. PHP and .NET, even though PHP is declining in popularity, I do think it's going to outlive the current trendy uh, JavaScript frameworks, maybe not React, but all the ones that just pop out and disappear. I think that is very much the case. Then the more I see of JavaScript, the more I like .NET for Enterprise. I guess that's fine, but I don't want to sell that Enterprise idea. It's a yeah, JavaScript is a vibes based language. I haven't watched that video. I think it's a video link. I will watch it later. But yeah, JavaScript in many ways has no structure. And people complain that .NET has too much structure and too many opinions. I guess pick your own poison. Um, they won't be able to recruit more .NET developers, both short and long term. I'd start looking for another job. This sentence is fishy. Yeah, like short term developers, long term developers, I guess contractors maybe, but they won't be able to afford more developers. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I just run, just run. In your heart, you already know the answer there, morons. Yeah, I don't agree with this. .NET will be here and thriving in the 
next 10 years and more than that. If it was able to go through what happened 10 years and 15 years ago, it will go through whatever is coming because it just keeps getting improved. Unless Microsoft messes it up in any major way with the entire Microsoft restructuring with the .NET team that is happening right now, which by the way, if you want to see a video on, leave a comment down below and I will make a video on it because nobody has really talked about it. And it's pretty scary, or at least it can be pretty scary. But yeah, don't listen to this. Let product people decide how the product is going to look like and let engineers decide how it's going to be built. That's my opinion. But now I want to know yours. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about any of this. And if you're not a .NET developer watching this video, what do you think about .NET and why would you not use it? Just leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.